Hello everybody, E here, back again with another book review. Today we are talking about Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad. Um, I buddy read this with uh, Jen Bernardini. She's going to be up here somewhere. And when she goes away, uh, J.D. Taylor of Taylor Talks is going to be up there also. Um, one of us didn't like this as much <laughs> as the other two. Um, I think I enjoyed it the most. I blew right through this, even though um, one of the, the person that didn't care too much for it beat me to the end. Um, but I don't know if that was because <laughs> they were in a hurry to finish it, just get it out of the way, or what. But uh, I know I enjoyed it from the first page to the last page. And one of the main reasons is this dude can write his ass off. Um, I was impressed with how... It, this is literary fiction. Um, it is not magical realism, um, which I thought it was. Uh, and usually in literary fiction, you don't find an, eco uh, an, an economy of words. You don't. You, you see a lot of florid detail. Um, the only other literary author that I've read personally, now I'm sure there's others, but um, that I've read personally it, that has such a succinct, such a stark style is Jesmyn Ward. Um, now, when I say that, that there's an economy of words, I do not mean that um, it is simplistic. It is not simplistic whatsoever. It's just that every single word feels like it has been chosen perfectly. Um, this is not historically accurate, um, I will tell you that, but Colson Whitehead, he, he said that it isn't. And the reason for that is he wanted to include all of the travesties and all of the horrors and everything that African Americans have gone through since the days of, you know, slavery, even before. It starts, it starts off um, in Africa um, with, you know, them being put on boats and brought over here. Um, it's heartbreaking, but there's a certain... There's a certain lack of attention to detail when it comes to the atrocities that happen that I actually appreciated to an extent. Um, he tells it very bluntly. Somebody, this happened to this person this way and we're moving on. Um, there's some characters in here that seem like they are important and then they are just tossed off to the side. The way I took that um, to mean it was just like back then. You never know. You never. They never knew who was going to die. They never knew who they were going to be separated from. And it was just a terrible, horrible experience that was so uncertain and so unsettling. Um, this book really affected me. I appreciated every single page of it. I'm going to give it five stars. So um, please go check out Jen's and JB's videos also. But until next time, I have been E. You've been you. It's been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.